in this remote location in the heart of Connemara. We're making really advanced, cutting edge uh, scientific work and discoveries that um, underpins a lot of climate science. Owing to its position on the west coast, on the edge of the Atlantic, uh, it's suitably positioned to measure the cleanest air in Europe. So it really is the baseline in measuring air pollution for the Northern Hemisphere. So one of our long-term measurement data sets at MESED is CO2. And with CO2, we can uh, look at the levels rising. At MESED, we see that not only are levels rising, it matches quite well to the Mauna Loa Observatory, which has a long-standing data set. And uh, methane also, like CO2, continues to rise here at Maysed. Even though the air is really clean coming to Maysed, um, we still see greenhouse gases that are rising year on year. So despite all our efforts to decarbonize our atmosphere, we still have rising levels of CO2. And it's the greenhouse gases that, um, that absorb the radiation that are, that, and that's responsible for climate change and the effects of climate change that we see all around the world today. I mean, there, there aren't that many stations that would have the range of measurements that we do here. I mean, just in this lab alone, I'm measuring about 90 compounds. And then we've got a lab next door which does pretty much all uh, carbon dioxide. And then the other building, you've, we've got a group who do aerosol measurements. We produce the measurements, Sci other scientists produce papers and models. That informs things like the IPCC reports, which then informs you know, policy decisions. A bad measurement is a waste of time, but a good measurement lasts forever. You know, and that's almost like a philosophy. And I mean, you can see one of the trends for one of the main compounds we can measure here. Um, it's a chlorofluorocarbon CFC12. And that was banned under the terms of the Montreal Protocol. I think it's the, it's the poster boy for international, you know, agreements. It really worked. We want to see continued investment in the science that um, furthers our understanding of the processes that affect our climate because these have such wide implications for society. The work we do here contributes significantly to at least helping us see a way to a better future and that is, I mean, that's the hope that COP26 successfully embodies all of the other brilliant research that's been done around the world in terms of climate and is able to map a solution. Air pollution doesn't know any boundaries, so the only way we can um, mitigate or fight it for a cleaner environment and for um, a better atmosphere is by coming together internationally. <laughs>